Hello everyone, I'm Tiffany Almeida with Pretty in Paper Crafts. Thank you so much for coming back for video number two in our technique series for the Versamark. This is a, such a cool technique. I, I'm so excited that I get to share this with you guys. So the technique video that I'm going to show you to make these two cards is actually how to make a shiny looking um, kind of like a realistic bottle would look. So um, there's two different techniques happening here actually. The first one is where I've embossed clear embossing powder onto a piece of early espresso cardstock. So the color is actually coming from the cardstock and it just makes it look like a shiny brown bottle. With this card, I actually, you can see I have used a piece of Whisper White, but then I have stamped on it with um, Berry Burst ink and Lemon Lime ink. So what I'm going to show you is how you can color your Versamark and color um, your embossing powder. Um, even though you don't have that color of embossing powder, you can use ink to color it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make both of these cards. They're very, actually very simple to do. We're going to go ahead and start with our little birthday brew brown bottle technique. So you should have the following things in your kit. Make sure there's there's a lot of little pieces, so make sure you um, watch for all those little pieces in your bottle in your um, kit. It looks like I oh nope I do I have everything okay. So you have your base which is very vanilla, and you have a piece of lemon lime twist. This is your background, little background piece. Um, and then we have a piece another piece a smaller piece of the very vanilla. We have another Starburst punched out of Early Espresso. We have an Early Espresso bottle that's been cut out. We have another little me metallic bottle cap, a label, and another label, and some ribbon. So let's go ahead and do the stamping and the embossing now. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's go ahead and make our bottle because that's the most important part, right? Let's show you this technique. So I'm going to get my little scrap piece of paper. Remember, it's always good to have a scrap piece of paper to work with when you're using embossing powder because that way you can just kind of scoop everything back onto this piece of paper and pour it back in. So here's what we need to do. We are going to take our Versamark ink and we are going to cover our entire piece of Early Espresso bottle with the ink. So you can actually just put it directly on the stamp pad and just rub that ink into the entire thing. So I like to just check and see how I'm doing. It may take a couple dabs all over the bottle to make sure it's covered completely. We want the embossing powder to stick to everything on this surface of this bottle. So I just want to make sure it's covered really well, and it looks like it is. So I've got my bottle there, and now I'm just going to pour embossing powder all over it. Just going to make a mess with it. Because we want the whole thing covered. We want embossing powder to stick everywhere. Okay, and then it's kind of tricky. You can, if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, you can try using your piercing tool a little bit to help guide it up off the paper and then you've got to dump all the extra <clears throat> excuse me all of the extra embossing powder off of it Oop. and if you touch the sides you will take off some of that powder I'm going to set this off to the side so that I can dump the embossing powder back into its container so I've just folded up the sides brought my little container back and dumped it back in. All right. Close my embossing powder and bring my piece, my bottle back. I'm going to use the piercing tool so I don't take off any more embossing powder. And so we're going to heat the entire thing till it's really shiny. So here we go. Use your heat gun.
Doesn't that look like a shiny bottle? Can you guys see that? Isn't that the coolest thing? That's why I think this technique with the Versamark is so perfect for this set because it really does make the bottle look like a shiny bottle. Anyways, I'm overly excited about this, I know. I know I'm the only one that's excited about it. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp our label and stamp our background on our smaller piece of Very Vanilla. So we're gonna use Early Espresso ink and we're going to stamp the sentiment, have a birthday brew. And then we're, go we're also going to do these kind of circle rings um, on the background. So we need uh, the have a birthday brew and we also need, didn't have this one out, our circle. So put that on, an, on a block and we're going to stamp with early espresso. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp Have a Birthday Brew and try to line that up as best we can. Okay, so once you've got that inked up real well, you're going to just try and center that. Like so. There you go. There you have it. All right, so then the other thing we need to do is these rings on the background. So what I did was, I stamped once, like so, and then I stamped again, and it comes out a little bit lighter. And that's kind of what I did throughout the background. Just gave it this kind of overlapping look. It doesn't have to be everywhere. It can be off the paper. It can be wherever. So there we go. There's your background. I'm going to be going to do one more right here off the... There. Okay. So once you've figured out how many you want and you're done with that, that's all the stamping there is to this card. It's really simple. I'm just going to clean my stamp off real quick. Just so that I don't ink myself or anything else in the process. And so now we get to just glue and assemble. So let's go ahead and put our lemon line base down. We're going to center this on the base of our card. So just line that up as best you can. Nothing in my world is perfect, so I do not expect you to be perfect when you're lining it up. No one's taking a ruler to your work, I promise you that. Just as no one's taking a ruler to mine. All right, so what I did with this one is I actually just kind of off-kiltered it, off-centered it a little bit. Um, so, I just tilted it to one side and made sure that all four of my points didn't go over the edge of the paper. So that should do it there. Okay. The next thing you do is you're going to glue down your label, or not your label, your starburst punch. Just like so. Right there's good. Okay, so now we have to glue on our label to our bottle. I'm gonna to use Tombow glue for that. So I'm gonna put the label. Come on. Put the label in the center of my lemon lime. Okay. And then I'm gonna put that label on the center of my bottle, like so. I just can't get over how cool that is. I love that shininess. We did that with clear embossing powder. That's it. It's very cool. And it looks like a bottle. And then we've got our little bottle cap that we need to put on the top of our bottle. And just hold that in place for a second so it dries or sticks, I guess. Oh, wants to stick to my finger instead. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of my bottle 
so that I can manipulate the ribbon where I want it to go. And we're just gonna kind of do the ribbon in a zigzag pattern, starting on the left side, and that's too much, so we're gonna shorten that down a little bit. So, you're just going to wrap, not wrap, but kind of zigzag your way down like so, and we're gonna trim off the excess. And then I'm gonna use dimensionals to adhere the bottle to the starburst punch. I'm gonna close this so it doesn't dry out on me. So just a few. We'll put one more just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And take the backing off. And glue that. right over our starburst. And then you can trim down the ribbon if it's too long over here. Um, and there you go. Super simple, but very cute and fun card. This would be a great manly birthday card. Any guy would love this. It looks like a beard, doesn't it? So fun, 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 simple, easy technique. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how you can do that exact same thing, but you can add color to your Versamark. Okay, so the things you'll need for this card, this should be what is in your kit. Again, there are little pieces, so make sure you find all those little pieces in your envelope. You're going, you, we have a strip of this designer series paper. This is from the happy birthday, uh, birthday cel uh, celebration in the occasions catalog. I can't remember the name of it. So we have two bottles. We have two bottle caps. We have one straw. We have a piece of designer series paper and we have a birth and we have a label that we're going to stamp on. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. Oh, and the other thing you can see is we have a background of bubbles. So I'll show you how I did that. That actually isn't with Versamark. So let's go ahead and stamp our background with bubbles first. You'll need the pool party ink because that is the color of the background. So that is the color I matched it with. Again, it's, sim it's similar to the Versamark technique where if you wanted a darker version of the same color, you could either stamp with the same color or you could Versamark. And we need a late, we need us, uh, this one's gonna be. So we've got our bubbles, and we've got our ink, and we're just going to start at one side of the card and we're gonna work our way diagonally down the card and there's no rhyme or reason to how you stamp this bubbles are not going to do what you want them to do and mm, i think that's good okay so that's it for the bubbles simple now we need um to do our little happy birthday label. I've got that in my hand, so that's what we're gonna do next. And I need my basic black ink to do my have a, have a birthday brew. Have a birthday brew. And I'm gonna move my bubble so I can see. There we go. So just try to center that in your label. And there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside, and now let's go ahead and dive into how we do the bottles. So the first thing that we're going to do is, um, I'm gonna get a scrap piece of paper in case I make a mess. Actually, yeah, and I'm also going to get my piercing mat so that I have something to help that image be solid on the paper. So I've got my two pieces. What I'm gonna do is first I'm going to stamp with Versamark ink. And then I'm going to stamp, let's see if I can get everything in the picture here. Versamark ink here, and then I'm going to have my other inks, my colored inks. So I've got my Berry Burst, 
and we're going to do one bottle and berry burst. So let's go ahead and do this bottle and berry burst. So we're going to stamp in the Versamark ink first to pick up the sticky color or to pick up the stickiness. Then we're going to stamp in berry burst. Okay, then we're going to stamp the bottle. Come on. That's very sticky. Okay, and then I've got some stuff on my block. That's why I didn't get a nice solid image. But then we're going to do the clear embossing powder. So I'm going to do one of these at a time so that I get the embossing powder on it while it's sticky. And then we'll do the exact same thing again with the lemon lime. So just pouring embossing powder all over here. You want it to cover the whole thing. Let's move this guy out of the way. And I'm going to use my piercing tool to lift it up. Dump off the excess. Pour this back in. At least try to anyway. And then we're going to heat, come here, heat emboss this guy. I'm going to use my piercing tool to hold it down. So isn't that cool? So did I explain what it is we were trying to accomplish here? So if I had just stamped this bottle in berry burst ink and then tried to put embossing powder on it, the embossing powder wouldn't have stuck and it wouldn't have been a shiny pretty bottle. But because I stamped it in Versamark first, then stamped it in berry burst and then put embossing powder, I then was able to get that color um, for the embossing powder. So we're gonna go clean off our stamp and use the lemon lime and get our lemon lime bottle. I'm gonna clean this off good so we don't have any berry burst mixing in with our lemon lime. That would be bad. So, we are gonna get our scrap again because we're gonna pour embossing powder over it. And we need our Versamark. So, we're going to stamp in Versamark first, get our bottle really good in the Versamark. Then we're going to get it with lemon lime. Okay, and then we're going to stamp our image. Try to get it lined up as best you can. Get good solid pressure. Peel it off, and now we have our bottle. And then we can pour our powder. that. I'm going to lift it off the page, tap off the extra, extra, and pour the leftover embossing powder in there. Let's go ahead and put the lid on this so I don't have any accidents. Close our inks and then we can heat up our bottle. Oops. Okay. Oh, it flipped over on me. There we go. All right, so then we'll go ahead and use our piercing tool to hold it down because it really will burn your fingers.
now we have two really cool little bottles. Isn't that fun? And then we can put our card together. So here's the original one that we did, that I did. And here are, we're going to assemble. So we're going to put our piece of designer series paper down. That is our little background piece. So just try to center that up here, like so. And then we have our um, berry burst bottle. Now I glued this one directly down to the paper, so you do not need to use dimensionals or anything on this piece. And I just kind of off kiltered it here a little bit. And then you're going to glue one of the bottle caps to the top. I'm just going to stick that down. Then we need to glue the little um, straw to the back of our green bottle. So I'm gonna put adhesive at the top and make sure our straw is facing the right way and just glue that down to the back. And now I want this to pop off on pop up on dimensional, so you can see this one has popped up. So I'm going to put a couple pieces of dimensional in the back. And I am conservative, so I like to cut up my borders and use them so that I'm not wasting any of my handy dandy dimensionals. Okay, so. Now that we have that popped up, we can go ahead and put it down. Pop up, put down, pop up. So I've just kind of off-centered it from the um, Berry Burst bottle. And then we have our birthday brew. Now I wanted this to be on the front, or kind of overlapping the um, Lemon Lime bottle. So I have to have it on dimensional so it's the same height as the bottle but I only want to put dimensionals on the side that's not gonna be overlapping the bottle. So I want it to be on this side, but not this side, because I want, I, if I put dimensionals on this side, then it's gonna be even more off-centered. So you can put a little bit of adhesive on this side with like your runner or Tombow, and then it will stick to the bottle, but then this side will be popped up. So I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to put this down like so, and it's gonna be just the perfect height for the bottle. And then I have one other little bottle cap that just goes down right to the bottom of your happy birthday label, or have a birthday brew label. And I'm just going to glue that down Right, right there. And that's it. What a fun and easy and really cool technique. Do you guys love it? I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something new and are falling in love with how versatile and how fun Versamark ink can be. All right, I'll see you for the last card in another video.